I've talked about homeopathy on this channel loads, but here's the quick rundown for those of you who are new. Homeopathy is based on the idea that water has a memory. So if you put something in the water and then take it out completely, the water remembers that substance. And when you drink that water, you are drinking the substance, the substance that isn't in it. Yes. So in a perfect world, there is absolutely no active ingredient in any homeopathic remedy. Maybe for that reason, or maybe because Big Pharma has a lot of lobbyists and a lot of interest in selling expensive sugar water to ignorant people instead of real medicine, the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, uh, doesn't do anything to make sure that homeopathic products do anything at all. Uh, technically, homeopathic products should be subject to the same rules and regulations as real medicine like Advil and NyQuil. Uh, but since the late 1980s, the FDA has made it their policy to not enforce the law on homeopathic products. The problem with that is twofold. For one, even if plain water can't really harm you directly, it can hurt you if you think that it will cure your cancer. So you stop chemotherapy and take the water. Uh, that is an extreme example, but it has happened. The other problem is that by ignoring the manufacturing quality of homeopathic products, uh, sometimes active ingredients sneak in there, like when the homeopathic nose spray, Zycam, uh, contained actual zinc and it caused several people to lose their sense of smell permanently. Finally, the FDA has announced that they are reversing 30 years of bad policy by actually holding homeopathic product purveyors accountable. They're starting by focusing on the most dangerous possibilities, like products that have gotten complaints about safety, products you ingest as opposed to a lotion, products that claim to treat serious diseases like cancer, uh, products that target vulnerable people, and my personal favorite, products that, and I quote, contain or claim to contain ingredients associated with potentially significant safety concerns. That claim to contain is so important because it shows that maybe the FDA understands that homeopathic products by definition don't actually contain the ingredients that they list on their packaging. This is awesome news for the general public, but terrible news for Gwyneth Paltrow, uh, who may have to go back to the film industry to remain ridiculously wealthy. Poor thing. Uh, her bullshit peddling website, Goop, thrives on products like homeopathic remedies, and they are at best products that do absolutely nothing, and at worst, they can royally fuck you up with random ingredients that haven't been tested by the FDA. Uh, and since it sounds like the FDA is now going to be targeting the most dangerous products first, maybe they will also focus on high profile cases that might set an example. Just throwing that out there, FDA. What better example to set than stringing up Gwyneth Paltrow?